Hello YouTube, I know you subscribe to us for all the exciting content. Today is possibly the most boring video I've made yet. Woo! All right, so what I've got going on here, I've got this old iMac and it doesn't work. So the hard drive inside of it was replaced right before the power supply went bad on it. I think it has a two terabyte hard drive that was put inside of it right before the power supply went bad. I don't think there's any data that I actually need. But as many videos as I'm making, having more and more available storage space could always be a good thing. And considering the hard drive in it was brand new right before the power supply went bad, it'd be nice to get that hard drive out of there and utilize that hard drive just as some storage space. So I got me this uh, box here made by Connectland. I don't know, this is cheap stuff, but it works and what it's got inside of it is a case and basically you open this case up and it comes with a couple different wire connectors and it allows you to take a hard drive out of a computer and put it inside of this case and turn it into an external hard drive and it comes with a power supply so that you can do that i've done this once before it's not terribly hard the hardest thing is actually getting to the hard drive and then if you're trying to swap out the hard drive, you gotta be careful about your screws and where they go and putting everything back together carefully. In this case, the computer's no good. I have no use for it besides recycling it. So I'm not gonna be terribly careful about putting it back together or anything. So mainly this is a teardown video and showed you how to get to the hard drive inside the computer. All right, so to get the glass off of these iMacs, and this has been the case, for IMAX ever since they've had this form factor, that there's nothing mechanical holding it in place. It's held in place actually with magnets. So the way to get it off is you need a suction cup. I've got my shower mirror, and what I'm just gonna do with the shower mirror, put it on the glass, and then this particular shower mirror, you twist it to lock it down, and just like that, Glass pops right off. Pretty darn easy. It's uh, got some locator pins and it's just held in place with neodymium magnets around the perimeter. So we got the glass popped off. And next thing is gonna be, looks like some, uh, to get the screen off, looks like I need some Torx bits. So I'm gonna get my torque screwdrivers and start pulling the screen off so I can get to the hard drive. Okay, I got all these screws out except the last one. It is a T8 size Torx bit. Went all the way around. There's, I don't know, about 10 screws or so. That's the last one. So now this screen should be free up. Okay, I got all the screws out. So then it's just a matter of this entire frame pulls right off of the, the computer. Just like that, very simple. You got a wire up here at the top that, that pulled loose. I think that's a light sensor if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it pulled itself out, but you wanna be sure when you're putting the computer back together, if you were going to, that you would plug that back in. So we're not gonna need this. Just gonna set this off to the side. And then once we're inside, we've got the, the monitor itself. So that was the screen cover. And then there's still uh, eight screws, four here, four on the other side to pull the actual screen off to get to the hard drive. The hard drive is back behind the monitor. So I'm gonna take these off. These are a T8 also. And then we'll be able to pull the screen off and we'll see the hard drive at that point. Okay, this is the last screw. Take that out. Now the screen should be loose. All right, pull the screen forward. There's a couple of wires on the back side that you're gonna have to disconnect in order to pull it free.
Okay, once you unplug the wires, the screen pops free. Set that aside, don't need it anymore. And here we have the guts of your computer. So here's your DVD drive, CD drive. You got some cooling fans, here's a fan, here's a fan. You got all your different processor boards here. You got uh, speakers. And then the thing that I'm trying to get to is my hard drive. So the hard drive, I'm gonna wanna pop this out so I can put it inside that other housing and be able to, to still use it and get, see if there's any data on it that I need. And if there's no data on it that I need, I can just use it for storage space. So I believe that these pop out pretty easily. Looks like you got a couple more Torx bits here and you pop those out and a couple of plugs and the hard drive should be able to just pop right out at that point. Okay, I got those two T8s out. Then it's just a matter of the hard drive pulls forward, lifts up, got these two little pegs. Just pull it out of those, unplug it there, and my hard drive is out. Actually, this is only a thousand gigabytes. I thought it was two terabytes. So a thousand gigabytes is one terabyte. Ah, it's still better than nothing. I thought it was two terabytes. I'm still gonna put it inside the hard drive casing just to see if there's any data on it that I need. If not, that's still a free uh, one or a one terabyte hard drive. It's better than nothing. Uh, one other thing I might do while I'm in here. I'm not sure how hard it is to get the this big meaty standoff. That's a heck of a nice hunk of aluminum. If you ever have a project where you need to make a bracket or a spacer or a bushing or something, that'd be awfully handy to have. And I'm gonna look inside here and see if it's easy to get that off. If so, I'm, I'm definitely gonna wanna get that off. It's, you know, I'm always making some project or something and that, that big hunk of aluminum like that, that could be really handy for something. Plus I've got another project that I'll be videoing where I've been wanting to make a lamp out of my really old iMac for a long time. And I think this would be, uh, that aluminum could come in handy to make a desk clamp. So I'm gonna try to get this bracket off of here and see, see if I can repurpose that. All right, I was able to get this base out, even able to get the hinge out. That could, uh, Oh, it could come in handy for something. I don't know, but it's very heavy duty. This is just a nice old brick of aluminum. If I needed to cut it up and make a bracket for something or a mount or a bushing or something like that. So back to our original project we had at hand. Got the hard drive out of the iMac. Got this uh, box, like I showed the box earlier from Connectland. So it's, it's all set here. It's got a USB port. It's got a power supply, it's got its own built-in power supply, on off switch. It's got uh, connections to connect to the hard drive. And it comes with a couple different connections in the, in the back. So whatever one works for your particular hard drive is the one that you're gonna wanna use. Um, and it's got slots here for screws. And then finally it's got screws that actually mount the, uh, the box or the electrical part into the box, into the housing. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that our connectors that are already installed here are going to work with this particular hard drive. And it looks like they are without problem. So we're just going to slide that in there, no problem. And this particular connector here, slide that in. Okay. So it plugs in to the power supply and also to the, the data. So we're not gonna have any issues there. Then it's just a matter of securing it into the holder. Uh, this hard drive does have some kind of see these locator pins. I'm gonna have to take those out with my T8 in order to get it inside of the frame. That's no big deal. 
And then this computer, like I was saying earlier, the computer, uh, it's not gonna be reused for anything. The power supply went bad on it. It's also a very outdated iMac. I don't, I don't have any use for it. So I'm just gonna end up recycling it. And the whole purpose of this project was just to get the hard drive out. Okay, I got those locator pins out. So I'll just slide this into this frame. Now you can see there's holes here for these screws to hold the hard drive into the frame. And this kit actually, it came with, uh, it's a pretty nice kit. You know, it came with a couple of different electrical connectors. It even came with a little Phillips head screwdriver to just for this purpose. So I'm gonna put these screws in. And the whole purpose of this is just to secure the hard drive into the frame. You know, with the price of uh, solid state hard drives these days, it's this probably isn't worth even doing, but it's still a terabyte of free hard drive space. So I may as well. It's something I've been meaning to do, not to mention I'll, I'll just check through the data on it, make sure there's nothing that I really needed. All right, so I've got the wires connected, got the screws connected into the frame. This thing's ready to slide into the housing. It just slides in as simple as that. You got a couple screws here. Just to hold the frame into the box. And that's that. I think there originally was a face plate that went across here. I think that got misplaced, but all that really did was just look a little prettier. And it, it did come with this stand too. So you can put the hard drive in the stand. I don't know that that's actually something that I'll use. But our last step will be to plug into the hard drive, plug it into my existing computer, plug in the power supply, flip it on, see if this thing even works, see if there's any data on there that I still need. In the end, the hard drive worked, but there was no readable data on it. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I don't know if it was a different format, if the data was so old, maybe it was corrupted. It was sitting, that hard drive was very old, um, but it is a functional hard drive now and I was able to format it. So now I've got a free one terabyte hard drive just sitting here. So that's nice, really didn't cost me anything, but a little bit of labor, I had all the parts sitting around. So pretty cool. Anyway, hope this video of a teardown of an iMac helps people, um, helps you get your hard drive out if you need to. If you're careful, you could always put a new hard drive back in, maybe even change to a solid state if you wanted to go that route and keep your iMac chugging along. Uh, if you like this content and other stuff like it, please give us a like, subscribe, comment. We sure appreciate it. Thanks very much. Bye.